Of course it has to rain on the day I go out without a coat. <sighs> Man. I need something warm up. Hmm. Yeah. The coffee sounds good. And, uh, I guess a small snack wouldn't hurt. <sighs> Man, that tastes good. Hmm. Doesn't look like the rain will let up anytime soon. Hmm, I guess I could just stay here for a bit. Hmm. I don't think there are any seats open. Nope. Oh, hold on. Uh, looks like there's still one stool left over there. I hope that person isn't saving it. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry, is this seat taken or... Wait a minute. Is... Is that you? I it's me. From elementary school. <laughs> Holy shit. It is you. Jeez, how long has it been? Two? Three years? Right. Right. Four years. Eighth grade graduation, wasn't it? Man. That feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine I don't look a lot like I used to. A lot. A lot has happened. Meanwhile, you haven't changed a bit. Well, obviously you got a little taller. That comes with aging, doesn't it? But seriously, I was worried high school would mess you up somehow. <laughs> well... It's not my fault you were the type of kid who would throw a tantrum over someone stealing a cookie or cutting in line. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I wasn't exactly perfect either. Actually, it was always one of us getting into trouble somehow, wasn't it? Though, that's probably what made elementary so fun for us, huh? <laughs> Well, either way, how have you been? I mean, you look like you're doing well. Better than me, at least. Oh, you're starting college soon? On a scholarship? Seriously? Wow. You must have really done well in high school, huh? Well, you always did get better grades than I did. Hmm? You joined a club too. Seriously? What kind? <laughs> uh, leave it to you to find a club that lets you watch anime after school. Man. It sounds like I really missed out on a lot, huh? Now I'm um, even more bummed we couldn't go to high school together. I'm sure I would have had a much better time at the school you went to. You were honestly the one thing that made elementary school and middle school bearable for me. <laughs> I didn't leave by choice. Believe me. Without even asking me, my parents sent me to some fancy private school that made everyone wear some god-awful uniforms all the time. I had some people that I got along with, I guess, but I was dying there. Everything was so prim and proper. The teachers were just jerks. They actually made me miss our PE teacher yelling at us during our dodgeball games. <laughs> That's right. We both kept getting hit so we could just talk on the bench. 
No, no. I wanted to keep in touch, really. It's just... My parents would always make me focus on my schoolwork. And barely let me out of the house except for school. Hell. On school days, they'd only let me use my laptop if I was in the living room so they could watch my progress. And it didn't help that I only got a cell phone after I turned 16. I still owe my brother for that. <sighs> anyway, it was a miracle I even graduated from that place. The amount of tests and homework was ridiculous. Still, I'm just glad to be out of there. Hmm? What am I doing now? Oh, well, you know, just kind of figuring things out right now. I mean, I want to go to college, but uh, that might have to wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my parents are going to help with that. I... Um... I kind of left home the other day. <laughs> and please be more surprised, why don't you? I know, I know. I didn't think I'd ever walk out on my parents either. <laughs> I'd be offended if that wasn't true. I never really had much of a backbone when it came to my parents. Long story short, my parents and I got into another fight when I brought up what college I wanted to go to. When they learned it wasn't some prestigious Ivy League college, they lost it on me. They went on and on about how I'm ruining my life and I'm a, an embarrassment to the family. So, I figured if that's what they really thought of me, they have no problem with me leaving. And with that, I packed up all my stuff and just took off. Yeah, yeah, I made sure to grab all my important stuff. Only left behind my furniture and a bunch of clothes. Oh, and that and all the books my parents gave me all these years. Honestly? 18 years with those people. And the nicest gift they've given me is my laptop. So I could explore my options. <sighs> what a nice way of saying, your dream is wrong. Pick something else. And trust me. I've been telling myself, that's not what they meant. For years. Hasn't helped. No, no, I... I don't exactly have my own place yet. Well, I have a bit of money saved up from chores and past summer jobs, so... I've been staying at a hotel for a bit. For better or for worse, my car is filled with all the stuff I packed up, so sleeping there isn't really a good idea right now. I know I need to find a place soon, but not having a job at the moment isn't exactly helping my case. And I can only stay at the hotel for a few more days. No. No way. I'm not going back. Yeah, for most people, Staying at home till you find work is a good idea. Not with my family. Because I just know they treat me like a fucking child again if I went back. Because they just don't get it. All my life. They've never once tried to understand me. All they've ever done. Is tell me what I'm doing wrong. What I should be doing. Or 
how they want me to act. Why aren't you more like your brother? Why aren't you more like your sister? You have to become a lawyer or a doctor. You have to... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I just... I just couldn't take it anymore. It's like... Every thought or opinion I had was wrong. And anything I ever wanted to do... Had to match my oh-so-perfect siblings already did. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to go off on a rent like that. No, no, I'm fine. I really... I just... I'm just kind of stressed at the moment. Hmm? How can you help? <laughs> After all these years and you're still the kind one between us. I'm sorry. I appreciate the offer, but... Unless you know a place I could stay or get a job at... I can't really think of anything I can ask for. At least, nothing I'd feel right about. Oh, wait. What? No, 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 no. Say that again. You... You're looking for a roommate? Seriously? Are... Are you really offering me to move in? No catch or anything. <laughs> oh man, this is great. I... I didn't know what I'd do if... Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, I'll definitely help out with the chores and stuff. And I uh, can help out with rent too, once I get a job. No? W what do you mean, no? I should focus on paying for college? What are you talking about? Yeah, I, I know I said I wanted to go, but that wouldn't be fair to you, would it? I mean, I shouldn't at least help pay for some of the stuff, since you're letting me move in, shouldn't I? It's only fair. Do that after I graduate? <laughs> Jeez. I see high school somehow made you even more stubborn, huh? Okay. How about this? When I find a job, you at least let me pay for the groceries and stuff, okay? Then it sounds like we have a deal. But just wait. Once I graduate and get an amazing job, I'll be the one buying us an even bigger place to stay. <laughs> 